Japan plans to create a secret fleet of high-capacity aircraft carriers. When considering Japan's apparent military buildup, it is important to understand two main things. First, military affairs in Japan have become somewhat unreliable. Second, they have the ability to show things as they are not. Japan's military programs are a perfect example of these two factors, and this is especially evident in the aircraft carrier program. If we study it in detail, we can clearly see the difference between the real state of military construction in Japan and the visible pins that Japan successfully uses to impress its allies and opponents. Let's turn to the details of Japanese aircraft carriers for a closer look. What Japanese aircraft carriers, you may ask? According to the 1945 Surrender Act, Japan is prohibited from having an offensive army, and aircraft carriers are considered part of such an army. This prohibition was in effect for more than 70 years after the end of World War II. However, the changes in the world are not peaceful. On the contrary, the situation is becoming less and less comfortable in a world where Japan, which is a relatively small country, is surrounded by two large and aggressive nuclear powers, Russia and China, and has a neighboring North Korea, which also possesses nuclear weapons. Therefore, according to popular wisdom, if you want peace, prepare for war. Japanese elites understand this and have begun preparations for a possible conflict. In 2006, the construction of the lead ship 16 DDH Hyuga began, which in 2009 was commissioned into the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force. The Japanese announced that this ship would be based on an air group of four helicopters. This caused some surprise among observers, as the ship had a large displacement, a large flight deck, and two helicopter elevators, but looked too underarmed with only four helicopters. However, the Japanese representatives did not take this into account and laid down the sister ship Hyugi Ise, which was commissioned in 2011 with a smile on their faces. This caused surprise and questions, but Japanese elites continued to emphasize with smiles that Japan is a country of peace. In 2012 and 2013, the construction of two larger helicopter carriers, Izumo and Kaga respectively, with a displacement of 27,000 tons began. Once again, joking smiles and statements about a peaceful Japan were made. This lasted until 2018 when the Japanese government approved a program for the development of the country's naval forces, which included the modernization of the Izumo into a light aircraft carrier based on Lockheed Martin F-35B deck-based fighters. And suddenly it turned out that this modernization could be carried out very quickly. It required installing ramps, changing the deck coating to a heat-resistant one, and installing a gas eliminator. The Japanese industry easily coped with these tasks. On October 3, 2021, a historic event took place. The F-35B successfully landed and took off from the deck of the new Japanese light aircraft carrier Izumo for the first time. Thus, the helicopter carrier turned into an aircraft carrier. We do not condemn the Japanese for their way of doing things. When you have neighbors like Russia, China, and North Korea, there is no room to comply with documents that were signed 70 years ago. Moreover, there is no international treaty that classifies aircraft carriers as offensive weapons. Thus, Japan has not formally violated any treaties. At the same time, Japan is actively increasing its naval power. In 2025, the second phase of modernization will begin, which will include changing the shape of the ship's bow to expand, installing the J-PAL's electro-optical landing system, completing the reconstruction of the hangar, lifts, fuel, weapons, and spare parts storage facilities to ensure full basing of F-35B fighters. In addition, the second helicopter carrier in the series, Kaga, will also be fully modernized at this stage. Each of these carriers will be able to accommodate 16 F-35B fighters. In addition, the ships will be equipped with two Mark 15 Phalanx CIWs, six-barrel 20mm automatic anti-aircraft guns, and RIM-116 launchers with 11-cell C-RAM surface-to-air missiles. Thus, Japan is carefully preparing for the coming decades, which, according to many analysts, will be a defining period of transformation in the world. Is this the end? Of course not. Remember the small helicopter carriers Hyuga and Isa? Well, they're not really small at all. They're full-fledged large aircraft carriers. Although they are a little smaller than the British hero of the Falklands War, the 22,000-ton Invincible class, they are still much larger. The Invincible class allowed the British Navy to conduct operations on the other side of the world, including in a transcontinental war, while maintaining its base relative to its home territory. In addition, 
the Invincible class had a significant aviation group. For example, during strike and anti-submarine missions, the ship was equipped with 18 Harrier GR-7 Knights fighters, as well as four Sea King ASAC and Merlin HMMK-1 helicopters. Let's take a look at the ship's hangar. According to sources, the dimensions of the Huga hangar are approximately 350 by 60 by 22 feet. Of this area, about 60% is available for storage of unlifted aircraft, which equates to about 216 by 59 feet. The F-35Bs have simple wings with a span of just under 36 feet and a length of 51 feet. By staggering the aircraft nose to wing outside of the elevators, at least six F-35Bs can be accommodated. This would leave enough room for aircraft maintenance. However, as the Americans and British practice, they also use deck parking. One ship requires more aircraft than the hangar can accommodate, so a certain number of aircraft are always located on deck. Up to four F-35Bs can be parked on the Huga's deck, as well as two or three helicopters with folded blades. Thus, after installing a ramp, gas switch, and deck covering, the ship is capable of transporting up to 10, 11 fighters and two, three helicopters. This is a full-fledged escort, including 16 missile launchers, torpedo tubes, and phalanx anti-aircraft guns. One such ship is capable of protecting the transoceanic crossing of a large convoy. Depending on the configuration of the air group, it will also be able to intercept enemy patrol aircraft, counter aerial reconnaissance, and sink individual ships or small groups of enemy vessels with airstrikes. Its firepower is sufficient to support a small amphibious operation, such as a battalion-sized one. It should be noted that a pair of such ships is already almost equal to half of the Russian aviation group deployed in Syria in terms of aviation power. Let's now look at the capacity of the Izumo and Kaga ships using the same logic. Each of them has a hangar measuring about 550 by 80 by 22 feet. If we calculate the capacity of the F-35B together with the deck, then each of these ships can carry up to 20 aircraft and four helicopters. Therefore, when the Japanese talk about the 16 aircraft we mentioned earlier, they are, as usual, misrepresenting information. But why do we assume that the Japanese have converted their small helicopter carriers Hyuga and Ize into aircraft carriers. It is known that the Japanese self-defense forces have expressed a desire to purchase 42 F-35B fighters of the latest Block 4 version from the United States. 32 of these aircraft will be deployed on aircraft carriers, and another 10 will be based on shore. The Nyutabaru Air Base in Miyazaki Prefecture, Kyushu Island in southwestern Japan, was chosen to deploy these aircraft. It is planned that six F-35B fighters will be deployed in fiscal year 2024 and two more in 2025. This is officially announced. But we know the Japanese. It is already known that the country will purchase an additional 100 F-35 fighters, including several dozen F-35Bs, in addition to the 42 F-35S already ordered. And why do they need planes with shorter takeoff and landing? Let's do the math. 40 aircraft for Izumo and Kaga and 22 aircraft for Hyuga and Issei, a total of 62 airplanes. There are 42 airplanes, so 20 more are needed. Here they are, these few dozen F-35Bs. How will the Japanese Navy be strengthened with four aircraft carriers? Even with a couple of converted Izumo and Kaga, Japan is already capable of conducting an operation similar in scale to the British war for the Falklands. But four aircraft carriers are a much larger operation. In addition, it is worth remembering that two or four Japanese aircraft carriers are only a round of Japanese air power. The power itself is on the islands and is not limited to deck-based aircraft. Currently, the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force has more than 70 deeply modernized F-4 Phantom fighter bombers, each of which can carry a pair of Japanese ASM-1 or ASM-2 anti-ship missiles. The former is similar to the US Harpoon missile, and the latter is similar to the former, except for the guidance system which uses infrared guidance instead of a radar homing head. Recently, the Japanese demonstrated a new generation of missiles with the same size and range, a prototype supersonic missile XASM-3 with a speed of Mach 3. They will soon be delivered to combat units. It is also worth mentioning the 62 newest Mitsubishi F-2 multi-role fighters, which are a further development of the American F-16. These planes can carry up to four anti-ship missiles and simultaneously hang fuel tanks and air-to-air -air missiles for self-defense. In addition, Japan will purchase about 80 F-35 as to complement the additional F-35Bs. We do not believe that Japan will stop there. Its shipbuilding industry is theoretically capable of building ships of any size, even up to 100,000 tons and more, if necessary.
Of course, building a full-fledged heavy aircraft carrier with a catapult launch and landing on a floating airfield will require much more work and funding. But smaller ships with short takeoffs and vertical landings, supported by long-range radar detection aircraft operating from Okinawa and the main Japanese islands, can be built faster and in greater numbers. Japan already has the relevant experience. An additional two to four Izumo-class ships could technically be built within 10 to 15 years, allowing Japanese naval leaders to create strike groups, not just escort ships within the fleet. Meanwhile, the United States does not oppose the revival of the samurai spirit in Japan. This is understandable as they face the challenge of confronting China, their main geostrategic rival. In such a struggle, it is useful to have an ally, and Japan can be a valuable ally. However, it is worth remembering that the main task is to keep our planet intact. If you have any thoughts on Japan's increasing militarization, please leave your comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Your support is the best reward for us. If you don't want to miss new interesting videos about new types of weapons, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications by clicking on the bell. See you soon.